Have you ever wondered why Herman Melville, the author of the famous novel Moby Dick, stopped writing at the height of his career? Herman Melville, best known for his whaling adventure that has captured the imaginations of readers for centuries, indeed, ceased to write for a significant period during his prime. This unusual fact adds an extra layer of intrigue to his already compelling life story. To understand this mystery, we must delve into the life and works of this enigmatic writer. Born in 1819 in New York City, Herman Melville's life was as turbulent and adventurous as the sea he loved to depict. A shadow of financial struggles loomed over his family, pushing Melville into the workforce at a young age. Yet the boy who once worked as a bank clerk and a teacher found his true calling in the vast expanse of the ocean. His maritime adventures took him from the whaling ships of the Pacific to the exotic islands of Polynesia, experiences that would later seep into his early works like Taipei and Omu. These novels, brimming with his encounters and observations, served as a reflection of his fascination with the sea and its untamed nature. Yet these were but the initial ripples in the vast ocean of his literary journey. But it was a white whale that would bring Melville's name to the forefront of American literature. In 1851, Moby Dick swam into the literary scene, presenting readers with a complex tale of obsession and revenge. Herman Melville's magnum opus, Moby Dick, took readers deep into the heart of the sea, exploring the human condition through a whale hunt of epic proportions. With its intricate narrative and philosophical undertones, the novel was a bold divergence from the popular literature of the time. However, Melville's masterpiece was met with a lukewarm response. Critics were divided, and readers found the book's dense symbolism and introspective narrative challenging. Commercial success eluded Melville, leading to a sense of disillusionment. Despite the setback, Melville continued to write, producing works like Bartleby, The Scrivener, and Billy Budd. Yet these two failed to achieve commercial success, and a disheartened Melville gradually withdrew from writing. After the publication of The Confidence Man, Melville disappeared from the literary scene, a silence that would last for three decades. It was not until the 1920s, long after Melville's death, that his work was rediscovered and appreciated. In the quiet corner of the Roaring Twenties, a literary renaissance was taking place. The world was rediscovering the genius of Herman Melville, a voice once lost in the sea of indifference. This period, known as the Melville Revival, saw scholars and readers alike delve into the depths of Melville's work, finding a treasure trove of narrative brilliance, profound themes, and innovative techniques. The unearthing of his unfinished novella, Billy Budd, was a key moment in this revival. Published posthumously, this tale of a sailor, falsely accused of mutiny, echoed Melville's own life, a man misunderstood in his time, only to be vindicated after his death. The Melville revival had a profound impact on modern American literature. His unique narrative style, rich symbolism, and exploration of the human condition became a beacon for future writers. Melville's influence can be seen in the works of authors from Ernest Hemingway to Thomas Pynchon, who have all navigated the literary seas with Melville's compass in hand. The rediscovery of Melville's genius is a testament to the enduring power of literature. It reminds us that no matter how much time passes, no matter how many voices rise and fall, the truly great ones always find a way to echo through the ages. From the depths of obscurity, Herman Melville re-emerged as one of America's greatest writers, proving that some voices like the call of the white whale can never truly be silenced.